ranking all 133 FPS teams in the 2023 season. If you are impatient, jump over to our Instagram. Most of these graphics are already posted on there. Now let's get back to the rankings. At 114th, we have UAB. With getting three FPS level wins, having a super convincing win over South Florida, who was a bowl game winner. At 113th, we have Cincinnati. And their year at the Power 5 level was a little rough. I think most of us didn't expect this. They had one FCS level win and two Power 5 wins. And both of those wins were to Houston and Pitt, who aren't great teams. Those games were pretty close. At 112th, we have FIU, as they do have three FBS level wins and had some very competitive losses. 111th, we have Hawaii. Hawaii did play an extra game on their schedule, and that is due to traveling reasons when people have to come out to Hawaii to play. But they did beat some quality teams this year with New Mexico State, Air Force, and Colorado State. At 110th, we have the Baylor Bears, with only having two FBS level wins and an FCS level win. And those FBS level wins were from two of the newcomers to the Big 12, who were previously group of five. San Diego State comes in at 109th with three FBS level wins, and those wins looked really good. They beat Ohio, Colorado State, and Fresno State, which two of those were teams that went bowling. Western Kentucky at 108th had three FBS level wins in Central Michigan, Eastern Michigan, and Ball State. At 107th, we have a Big Ten team in Indiana. They had two FBS level wins. One was a very good win beating Wisconsin. The other one was very iffy as they beat Akron in overtime. And don't I say it was four overtimes. At 106, we have Virginia, where they found themselves winning two FBS level wins. At the time, they beat North Carolina, who was ranked 10th. They also lost some very bad games. At 105th, we have Arizona State. Some people thought Rashada was going to be the answer, but he only found himself playing in three games this year. They do have two solid wins over Washington State and UCLA, but also a very bad loss to Fresno State being 29-0. Make sure you guys like and follow for the next parts.